Welcome to the training. I'm so excited you're here to learn how to grow your business using publicity. More customers knowing about you means more business and that means more revenue. And that's what this is all about, making more money for your business by getting massive exposure. So what I'd like to share with you today are real stories of how this is possible. I want you to learn how a behavioral therapist who is single and doesn't have children got a regular column in a leading regional parenting magazine. How someone who has to live a life of gluten-free became an instant influencer in this industry and now has companies paying her to speak on the topic and offering her sponsorship deals just to be affiliated with her. How a hypnotist, yes, a hypnotist in the suburbs, not even in the high-rent downtown district, generated almost $50,000 in new business, and what he did to get that business, that cost him absolutely nothing. Okay, have I piqued your interest? Awesome. My goal today is to share with you how these people, and many, many more, are having insane success building their businesses using publicity. And this is people doing their own publicity, not paying a publicist five figures to try to get it for them. And I emphasize try because publicists will not give you any guarantees. I liken hiring a publicist to writing a big fat check for hope. I hope this works. So today I want to share with you the 15 essentials you need to get publicity all by yourself in a short amount of time and without investing a fortune in PR firms to get it. Now, are you thinking, 15, is she nuts? That's way too much to do. These are all easy essentials and you don't have to do them all. Think of getting publicity as other essential things that you do every day. You shower, you brush your teeth, you put on deodorant, you have a cup of coffee, you eat breakfast. They're all essential, but quick things that are part of your day every day. So I'm going to show you how easy these 15 PR essentials are and how you can incorporate these into your everyday business life without a ton of effort and with the possibility of tremendous returns. And the best part of all is that you don't need them all. Yeah, there are 15 essentials, but you might have insane success with only a few. The behavioral therapist that I mentioned earlier, she got the magazine column by using only two essentials. So all that I'm asking is for 15 to 20 minutes a day for the potential to grow your business by five, six, even seven figures using publicity. So today I'm gonna to go over what these essentials for getting publicity are. But it's also important to understand what publicity is not and why there is so much value in getting publicity. Publicity is not about paying for advertising. That's something you do and you control the message. Publicity is a neutral third party talking about your product, service, or brand. Publicity is not about sales presentations. Selling yourself or your business is not what publicity is. Publicity is somebody else telling the world how great you are. Publicity is not about marketing offers. You make marketing offers to bring customers in. Publicity is somebody else sending customers your way by talking about your product, service, or brand and providing to you third-party credibility. And because publicity is not any of these familiar ways to grow your business, it's more trusted by consumers and media and trust equal speed. Publicity is exponentially faster and more powerful than marketing because it's more trusted. Remember, it's that third party credibility. It takes you to the front of the credibility line and it makes you a superhero in your industry. It costs less than marketing and it has even more long-term impact because publicity is something you can use to promote your business forever. Okay, can you already see the possibilities of what publicity can do for your business? So what I'm going to teach you here today, it will work, even if you don't believe it. And I'm going to show you case study after case study after case study of people just like you who have applied any one or more of my 15 PR essentials and had amazing success.
Now our time together is limited. I'm gonna to touch on all 15 PR essentials and I'm gonna give you lots of things that you can start working on right now. If you're excited and you wanna learn how we can work together more to grow your business and get you more customers through publicity, stay on until the end because I've got some great bonuses and gifts that are available only after this training. Now, before we dive in, I just want to give you some quick background of who I am and how I know so much about getting publicity so you understand how I can help you like I've helped countless other small business owners. Ironically, I have no background in PR at all, but I'm known as the DIY PR maven. That's my expertise, showing people like you how to profit from getting their own free publicity for their product, service, or brand without spending a fortune on advertising or hiring expensive PR firms. I'm a best-selling author on the topic. I've personally appeared in over 250 media outlets. And this is most important. I have generated over seven figures in sales for me and my clients from free publicity. That's a lot of money, and it can happen to you too by using my PR essentials. Probably my most exciting media appearance, and definitely the most lucrative one, was my first appearance on The Steve Harvey Show. I submitted a pitch in August, and by October I was filming a segment for a show. I did this by myself, without a publicist, and it didn't cost me a penny. They even paid my travel expenses to go to Chicago. This is me on the Emmy award-winning Steve Harvey show showcasing my product. He has millions of viewers that I was exposed to, and the best part of Steve Harvey is that he's syndicated, so I get the benefit of reruns. I have sold thousands of products as a result of this appearance. So have you ever wondered how this works? How did I get on the Steve Harvey show? How does your competitor get on the news or on the radio? How did that person living in a small town in Wisconsin get a story written about them in Reader's Digest? I'm sure you know about publicists, but they're ridiculously expensive, especially to get you on national television, and they give you no guarantee of placement. Remember that big fat check for hope. Do you wish there was a magic pill to instantly get in front of thousands hundreds of thousands, even millions of potential customers so that you could sell thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of your product or service. So one way to do this is to pay for advertising. You control the message, you control where it's placed, but bottom line, it's advertising. Everyone knows you paid for it and you are deciding what we see. Besides all of that, advertising is insanely expensive too. That's why learning how to get free exposure for your business is so important. Barbara Corcoran of Shark Tank fame said it best. If you can steal the limelight, you'll steal the market share. When potential customers see you in the media, they are more likely to come to you than your competitors. So what I've done for you here is taken my years of trial and error and years of mistakes, and now I'm letting you reap the benefits of it by sharing with you my 15 essentials of PR. All you really need to do is learn these and start implementing them, and you could see results as soon as immediately. All right, let's get started with essential number one, which is branding. This is the heart of your business. Your brand is your face, how you portray yourself to the world. It's important that you are sending a consistent message of what you do and how you do it so there are no mixed messages and confusion as to what your business does. Your website, blog, and social media platforms should all share a similar look and congruent message. Essential number two is becoming an expert. You see it all the time on television. They bring on someone as an expert in a particular field to validate their story. So here's a clip from a former client. Hey, Stephen Gaffney is here. He's an honesty expert. So he's an expert in honesty and communication. So he is sought after to speak about this topic. Now this was a segment for Fox Business. I am an expert in PR and marketing for small business, and I'm often in the media for that. Joining Marissa today, Christina Daves, author of the book PR for Anyone and an expert on marketing for small businesses. So you see how easy it is for the media to be able to refer to you as an expert in your industry. 
And it doesn't matter if it's television or print. Journalists want experts in their fields to be able to quote credible sources for their audience. That gives the journalist credibility in their story by being able to use an industry expert to give validity to what they're talking about. So one way to establish this expertise is through essential number three, which is blogging. And I just heard the collective sigh of the audience. I know, blogging, one more thing to do, right? But for PR, blogging is important because if a journalist comes to your site and they see that you're writing about your topic in your industry, it gives you credibility as the expert. The good news is there are plenty of resources out there to help you get good content out and it doesn't have to cost a fortune anymore. So one service I like to use is textbroker.com. You can get a pretty well-written 500-word blog post for under $15. Another aspect of blogging to consider is guest blogging. Get more bang for your buck and jump to the head of the credibility line by guest blogging about your topic on a high-ranking site. How credible do you look to a journalist if you've had works published on, say, Huffington Post or Forbes.com? Okay, so now I will share my story about the behavioral therapist in New York City. This is Dr. Marcy. She's a single children's behavioral therapist, but she doesn't have her own children yet. How did she get a regular column in a top regional parenting magazine? She was blogging, and she was blogging really well, but she wasn't blogging for Google. She was writing about what she knows and what she loves and writing in a way that she likes to write. Not good for SEO and Google, but when I saw how amazing she is at writing on her topic, I helped her find the right person to pitch, which we're going to talk about a little bit more later, and we packaged her blogs and we sent them to the editor. She saw right away how brilliant Marcy is and what an amazing writer she is, and just like that, she offered her a column. So now, Dr. Marcy is working as a behavioral therapist for children in New York City, and she's in the top parenting magazine in New York City as a regular columnist, i.e. an expert in her industry. So what do you think that has done for her business? And it all stemmed from her blogging. Now, next up is essential number four, which is free media and how to respond. Did you know there are tons of resources available to help you get free publicity? My favorite is Harrow, which is Help a Reporter Out. You sign up for free, which you should all do after this training, and then three times a day, Harrow sends you queries from journalists looking for expert sources, quotes, or guests. This is by far the fastest and easiest way to get large-scale publicity. Personally, I've appeared on The Steve Harvey Show, Success Magazine, Forbes, Inc., Yahoo News, and countless other national media outlets as a result of responding to Harrow queries. So here are some other success stories from my students who have successfully responded to Harrow queries. Working on a piece for the Wall Street Journal as a result of a Harrow connection. It's from Pam, a financial planner. Happy to share that it was you who first introduced me to Harrow. As I was writing my book, Say I Do in a New York Minute, I began getting press on my wedding as I planned it in 33 days and thought it would be great if I could truthfully say that my wedding had been featured in a variety of publications on the back of the book. I started responding to Harrow requests for brides who saved money or did any interesting planning. As a result, my wedding was featured at Bustle.com, BridalGuide.com, and in the New York Times. After I published the book at Amazon, I secured additional press at Retail Me Not and She Knows com and that's from LA who's an author and one more I just want to thank you for connecting me with Harrow which put me in touch with Mr. Coca who's from Al Jazeera I thought you might like to see another success story keep up the excellent work and thank you for all that you do Tamir who's an adjunct professor so we aren't talking rinky-dink news outlets here. We're talking national television, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, international outlets like Al Jazeera. And Harrow is just one resource to get this amazing national coverage for your business on a regular basis. So just imagine what it did for Pam's credibility as a financial planner to be quoted in the Wall Street Journal. And L.A. who got all that coverage for her bridal book, including the New York Times, and was able to put that on her book for added credibility. And Tamir, who's an international scholar, being quoted in Al Jazeera. These are business game changers. 
Okay, can you already see the possibilities of using the PR Essentials? Do you see how easy it is? Do you see how applying this system could be the best decision you make this year? So let's continue. Another PR essential is whether you use a press release or a targeted story pitch. Bottom line, a press release you pay for it and you pay a lot for. A targeted story pitch is finding the right journalists and pitching them a good story they might likely cover, which costs you nothing other than the time to send an email and a follow-up. I usually recommend, for example, that authors do send a paid press release out for their books. If they're trying to build SEO and get quick sales in a short amount of time. This is great for the, for a bestseller campaign because when you send out a press release to one of the big wire services, it's often posted for 24 to 48 hours on various websites like affiliates of NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox. This is a great way to build SEO in a short amount of time and quickly drive traffic to your site and generate book sales. On the other hand, my general recommendation for publicity is to build relationships with and create value for journalists in your industry by providing targeted story pitches on a regular basis and staying front of mind with them. To that end, another essential in PR is gaining exposure in magazines, newspapers, and trade publications. The easiest way to do this is by building relationships with journalists at those media outlets. Find them, connect with them, become a trusted resource. Also, besides just pitching stories relevant to your business, refer other experts to them and other story ideas. So it's not always just about you, but they know they can count on you as a lead for various stories that they cover. Then, when they need something about your topic or your industry, you're front of mind and someone they trust and can rely on that they'll reach out to for a quote or a comment. So here's a great example. My student, Cammie, is a doctor of naturopathy. She's been featured in magazines like Shape, Fit Pregnancy, Prevention, Fitness, Women's Health, First for Women. But what Cammie did was she built a relationship with First for Women magazine as become their resident go-to expert in her space. Here she is with a cover article, Sure, Fire for the Wire, sure Cure for the Wired and Tired. And here's another article, Heal Your Thyroid, that they did highlighting one of her patients. So whenever First for Women needs expert opinion or articles on natural health remedies, they go to Cami. Just imagine what all of this exposure in these women's magazines has done for her business. And she did this all herself without paying for a publicist. So that leads us to another essential, which is finding the media. It doesn't do you any good to pitch your food product to the accessories editor. It's imperative that you find the right person to send your pitch to. This is easily done by looking at the masthead of a magazine and see who the editor of which section is. You can also look at bylines and see who's writing about your topic. And there's also this amazing resource that you might have heard of before, Google. Google is a question search engine, so just type in, who is the fashion editor of InStyle Magazine? I'm serious, it's really that easy. And last but not least, check out social media, especially Twitter. Journalists are all over Twitter. I spoke on a panel about publicity, and when I gave that tip, a New York Times journalist said I had just given away the biggest secret of journalists. They are all on Twitter. Social media in general is now a big component of publicity. From establishing you as an expert online, to getting your product, service, or brand exposure to potential customers, and for showing a potential journalist that you know what you're talking about and you have a following behind you. Don't overwhelm yourself with thinking you have to be on every single social platform. Figure out where your customers are most likely to be and focus on those. Personally, I prefer Twitter and LinkedIn, so I put most of my efforts there. I'm still on some of the others, but I don't kill myself with it. Do one or two and do them well. All right, we are halfway through and this isn't that hard, right? Do you see yourself doing this in 20 minutes a day? These are all things you can easily do every day to build buzz for your business. And the fact that it generates leads and brings new customers in the door, why wouldn't you do it? 
Just imagine if you had started this six months ago. Okay, another PR essential is knowing when to submit your pitch. All media outlets are on calendars. So here's an example of a big mistake I made when I first started out. I was pitching my product to the gift guides in November. Okay, that made sense, right? The magazines come out in December. <laughs> what I later found out is that, for example, many magazine gift guides are done in June. Done in June. Can you believe that? I can't even think about the holidays in June. But that's how national publications work. Their regular publications are usually four months out. Regional publications are at least a month. Newspapers and television are a few weeks. So keep the calendar in mind when you're pitching and give the media outlet enough time to be able to cover your story. Something to consider as we're going through all of this is that you don't have to do this all by yourself. Once you know and understand the essentials, you can certainly outsource the PR task to someone in-house or by hiring a virtual assistant. One of my favorite PR essentials is celebrity. If you can get a celebrity to promote your product, service, or brand, it is a business game changer. When I saw this picture of Diana Ross in a medical boot, I knew I had to get her my product. I found her publicist on that amazing resource I told you about earlier, Google, and I literally picked up the phone and called their office. Within two weeks, Diana Ross was photographed in my product after she sang for the President of the United States in Washington. This catapulted my business and my credibility. I had been trying to get into the largest orthopedic practice in the Mid-Atlantic, but not until I showed them Diana Ross in my product did they give me the appointment and now they carry my product. I also went back to Steve Harvey and told them about Diana Ross. They did a three-minute update on me and my company. Check out what Steve Harvey said. Miss Ross got hold to one of Christina's boots and started rocking it. So if the one and only diva, the diva of divas, Miss Diana Ross, can rock it, then you know it's got to be good. Look. Okay, can you imagine? What do you think the value of that spot alone was in advertising dollars? Not to mention, it was basically an endorsement by Steve Harvey, the king of daytime television. Okay, everybody here has probably heard of the Oprah effect, right? If Oprah likes it, it's a golden ticket for success. This is Chris Wittenberg, the founder of Be Good to People. She did her own guerrilla marketing to get herself in front of Oprah and Gail King, and it resulted in this feature in O Magazine. This is Chris and Gail wearing Be Good to People shirts together in O Magazine. This is not advertising in Oprah Magazine. No fancy publicist got her in front of the decision makers at Oprah. She did it all by herself. You can only imagine what this feature in the world according to O has done for her business. Her business is exploding and it gives her credibility when she reaches out to potential retailers. If Oprah loves it, of course everyone will too. Can you see the value of everything I'm sharing with you here today? Are you glad that you're watching this presentation? Just imagine if you mastered these skills, where could you be this time next year? Okay, let's keep going. A huge PR essential is radio, especially because of all the opportunities that are available now with podcasts and the tremendous reach they have. The best thing about podcasts is that they're always looking for good guests. This is a great way to get exposure, and it also gives you more practice for when you land on a national radio program. So research podcasts in your subject area and start pitching story ideas. They will usually have a Be a Guest section on their website. And remember to explain why, why you will be a good guest and what benefit you bring to their audience. Now, getting on TV is something many business people aspire to do, and it's a PR essential because of the vast reach of television. It also gives you credibility. When someone else, like a journalist or a television reporter, is using you as the expert or interviewing you about your industry, that gives you credibility. A local program in an average-sized market could have several hundred thousand viewers. A national program likely has millions. That is a ton of eyeballs for your product, service, or brand. 
I recommend pitching in your local market versus going right to national television. And for shows like The Today Show and Good Morning America, anything that's on live with a huge audience, they'll want to see you on local television first to make sure you can handle live television. I love this movie clip from the Lego movie because it shows the power of television and credibility. Hey everybody, you don't know me, but I'm on TV, so you can trust me. Okay, isn't that awesome? But it just goes to show that if someone is on TV or in the media, they are instantly seen as credible. In the movie, she knew that if she got on TV to share her message, she could reach tons of people who would listen to her and take action. This is my client, Jody Harris, who got this appearance on her local CBS station in Tulsa by pitching how her product is made in Oklahoma and how that creates local jobs. Her pitch wasn't really about her product, but the segment ended up being about the product. She then pitched her product to a syndicated program about products, and it was seen in over 30 markets, including Los Angeles, the number three market in the country. In less than one month, she got two television appearances and one went national. This gave her massive exposure and massive sales of her product. My student, Tracy Garcia from Style Me Bar, was very smart and offered her come to you hair and makeup services to a local news anchor to get her ready before a big event. Fox covered the story and the anchor is now a raving fan as well. Another client, Author Matt Curry, he wrote a book about ADD and entrepreneurship. He was on his local ABC business program, and it related to the show host because she had recently been diagnosed with ADD. Okay, here's one of my rock star students, Caroline Pugh of Virtual U. She's gotten coverage in her local market about being a successful local entrepreneur, and then in cities where she's launching her new gym technology. So you can see how easy it really is to get on local television if you offer a good story. Pitch locally when you're first starting on your quest for PR and find something relatable to the local audience. And then when you do get your TV appearance, make sure you're ready. Wear clothing that's conducive for television. Avoid crazy patterns. Stick to solids and bright colors. That's best versus black or white. Uh, make sure you know how to do television makeup. Local television stations don't have people to help you with hair and makeup, so you're on your own. On one of my first television appearances, I did not know this, and I wore a white shirt and regular makeup, and I looked like a ghost. It was awful. You also want to prepare sound bites of the message you want to convey so you aren't rambling on and on. Get your message across in short, succinct information nuggets. Remember, most television segments are only about three minutes. Prepare ahead of time what you want to get across and be able to say it in short sound bites. So what do you think? I just gave you 14 PR essentials that you can use any one or more of and in any combination to get exposure for your business. Can you see the payoff of what I'm talking about? If you master these skills, can you see the possibilities of using this program? Are you getting convinced the system is worth a look? So remember earlier, I talked about the hypnotist who made $50,000. Would you like to know how he did that? He got this local appearance on Fox by pitching a story of how he could help a local golf pro fix his putt. Then he got this magazine cover of a regional publication who wanted to highlight unique businesses. This magazine isn't even distributed in the city of Philadelphia, but instead it's in the suburbs. And Brian can equate close to $50,000 in new business as a result of just these two local media appearances. You see how Brian applied this system and it was the best decision he made all year? Can you see yourself doing the same thing? If you allow me to push you, I can help you eliminate uncertainty with this whole PR game. So keep watching, keep listening, and allow me to continue showing you how this works. And I want to reward you for making it this far into the presentation. So I'm going to give you another big tip right now. Because we have limited time together, I shared some quick tips on 14 of the essentials. But now I'd like to dive deep into essential 15, which is gaining exposure. 
Get your pens out because I'm going to give you 11 newsworthy ways to gain exposure for your product, service, or brand so there isn't any reason you can't start getting publicity today. Okay, number one is being new. This is the easiest way to get media exposure. Are you a new business? Do you have a new product, new management, a new location? Anything about your business can be made newsworthy. With my business, I have too much inventory, so I have to kind of reinvent new. When I heard that camouflage was the new hot fashion for women, I took my male camo style and I coupled it with my hot pink rhinestone flyer and got media coverage for my quote unquote new boot accessory. Number two is a grand opening or ribbon cutting. It's a great way to get local press. This is when we opened our retail store. We invited out the mayor uh, to do the ribbon cutting here and when he accepted, we notified the local press. We got coverage in our local paper about our new retail store. It was priceless in terms of driving new customers to our shop. Number three is speaking in workshops. Get yourself out there sharing your story. Go to chambers of commerce, networking groups, local events, national groups, join speakers associations. If you aren't comfortable speaking on stage or in front of a group, consider online platforms like webinars or SlideShare. This was when I first started speaking, but the regional paper wrote an entire article about my business, giving me exposure to tens of thousands of new potential customers. Number four is blogging. This is a great way for people to find you, but as I mentioned earlier, even better is guest blogging on a high ranking blog. Use free sites like Cision to find blogs in your industry or even Google again, just type in what are the top ranking blogs and then the name of your industry. Okay, and this is important. Then go to alexa.com, A-L-E-X-A.com and see how they rank. A lower Alexa ranking is better. So if you can find a blog ranked under 100,000, you'll get a lot of people learning about your product, service, or brand. Number five is receive awards or grants. And along these lines is also to enter contests. Oh, I was on the Steve Harvey show the first time for an inventor competition, which I won and I won $20,000. Then I was able to spin this story off and get tons of additional media exposure by winning this contest. Number six is to give awards. It could be a small scholarship, award a local student athlete, name a community impact person or a local hero, Create the award and make sure you invite your local media when you give the award. The story will be about the award, but your business will be named and you will get exposure from that. Number seven is to hold a contest. A deli could name a sandwich. An image consultant could hold a makeover contest. A wedding planner could do a best proposal contest. A contractor could do which home is most in need of a home improvement. I mentioned Tracy with Style Me Bar earlier. So look at this contest they held in conjunction with a local radio station. So every time the station mentioned the Taylor Swift contest, they mentioned Style Me Bar and their hair and makeup services. Okay, number eight is to involve a charity. According to a recent survey by Nielsen, half of global consumers are willing to pay more for goods and services from a company that gives back to society. I think that is quite telling. Number nine is write articles. This is similar to guest blogging, so if you're a good writer, take advantage of it, like Dr. Marcy did. Write articles for magazines for massive exposure. Uh, check out freelancewriting.com. They have some great leads in there for that. And number 10 is for authors. Um, there are book review sites like Publishers Weekly, Small Biz Trends, national magazines have them, national newspapers have them. And your local and regional publications would also probably love to run a story about a local author. Last but not least, number 11 is the celebrity endorsement. And we already talked about it um, a little bit earlier, but this is just basic guerrilla marketing to get this done then dust off your phones and start calling people. 
It's amazing what you can do when you get someone on the other end of the phone. So do you see the simplicity of this process? Can you see how using the system is the solution to most of your financial challenges if you just took the time to do it? Are you willing to give it a try and see what happens? Remember Chris? She got an endorsement from Gail King, and with this picture in O Magazine, and being in Oprah Magazine, well, it's pretty much an endorsement from Oprah herself. She doesn't just put anything in her magazine. At the beginning of the training, I talked about the person who has to live gluten-free. She's made herself the face of gluten-free, and as a result, has gotten so much publicity that she's getting paid speaking engagements across the country and sponsorship deals from people in her industry who want to be associated with her because of all the publicity she's generated for herself. Meet my student, Jennifer Fugo, the founder of Gluten-Free School. She has become a rock star in the gluten-free space, and it came from all the media exposure she got herself. Now, the biggest one was not one, but two segments on Dr. Oz. Yes, Jen Fugo got herself on the Dr. Oz show twice. This segment right here was a 12-minute segment. This had people in the gluten-free industry wanting to know who she was and wanting to align themselves with her. By using a few basic PR essentials, she exploded her business and is now seen as a major player in the gluten-free industry. Oh my gosh, there's so much more I want to teach you, but my time is limited. I've given you the basics of my 15 PR essentials, as well as 11 specific ways to gain exposure that you can start doing today. Would you agree it's been time well spent so far? Can you see yourself doing this for 20 minutes a day to get new customers and grow your business? Imagine if you started doing it six months ago. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the strongest, how inspired and motivated are you to making a permanent change to get more publicity for your business and getting the customers you deserve? How motivated are you in making a change? Some people watching are going to tell me that they're at a seven or an eight. And to you, I have to ask, what would it take to make it a 10? Why am I asking you that question? Because you've got to be at a 10 to make change. If you're not at a 10, stop listening. If you're not at a 10, stop watching. Because what I'm about to show you will have zero meaning unless you're at a 10. Okay, I'm assuming since you're still here, you're at a 10 and you're fully committed to make change. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you what it looks like to make a change with me. So that's what PR University is all about. Obviously, I can't go deep into all of the essentials in an hour training, but the good thing is if you like what you've learned so far and you want more and you want to be like the people I've shown you here today who've used publicity to grow their businesses, then I have a special offer. So you can get everything you need to know to do your own publicity in just minutes a day. And if you act fast, I'm gonna give you some really awesome extras. The 15 essentials I've been sharing with you today are actually modules in PR University. I gave you a ton of information from the Gain Exposure module, and there's even more in there too that we didn't even have time to cover today. So if you wanna continue and become famous in your industry, get more customers, and make more money, then join me and sign up for PR University. But before we go any further, I need to be 100% transparent with you. If you are looking for a quick fix, don't even watch anymore. There are no do-nothing magic pills. I, I feel that free publicity is the magic pill, but you have to do some work to get it. It doesn't just happen. This is not for unethical people. We're going to we are going to get the media to trust you and use you as a source. So unethical people need not apply. And lastly, no fake experts. By approaching the media, you're implying that you can provide value to their audience. Pretending to know what you're talking about is not good and it's not someone that I want to work with or teach my methods to. But if you're looking for a long-term formula that actually works, and if you're willing to put in the time and effort that's required in the initial setup process to learn the techniques and use the tools and templates, and you understand that if success were super easy, everyone would have it, then you are exactly who I want to work with.
And fortunately, I've made it as easy as humanly possible. In this course, you're not paying for the success I've had, you're paying for the mistakes I've made. One mistake can cost you two or three times the investment in this course. So here's how this works. PR University is made up of 15 short, actionable modules. Everything we talked about earlier today. Each module comes with a worksheet and a resource guide, and the course is loaded with bonuses that are particular to that module. Things like a former Family Circle magazine editor gives you the do's and don'ts of pitching a magazine. There's a branding editorial calendar so you can plan everything out for the year. A video on video tips for doing video at home from a Hollywood video editor who's worked on shows like Celebrity Apprentice and Wipeout. There's contact information for the top 20 syndicated radio shows. There's a training specifically on how to get your product in celebrity hands from someone whose handbags have appeared in major motion pictures and top television shows. An Emmy award-winning television producer shares her top seven on-camera skills that every expert must have. And there's even more, and that's just the bonuses. We haven't even started with the meat of the program. So I broke the 15 modules into three sections, getting started, pitching the media, and becoming a thought leader. But the best thing about PR University is that you don't have to watch all these modules. You don't have to watch them in order. If there's something you want to learn how to do right now, watch that particular module. Remember, Dr. Marcy, all she had to do was take her blogs and learn how to find and pitch the right journalist, and bam, she got a column in a magazine. So the first five modules are getting started, where we talk about branding, we talk about becoming an expert, we talk about blogging and guest blogging. And I have an unadvertised bonus that I just put in the program, and that is contact information for some of the top ranking blog sites that accept guest blog posts like Fast Company, Huffington Post, Forbes, and more. So I gave you a ton of information from the gain exposure model, mo ooh, excuse me, the gain exposure module already in the training, but there's even more. And then there's the free media and how to respond, where I share more tips besides Harrow, and I also give you my proven formula for having success responding to Harrow queries that has gotten me on national television twice, and also in numerous national publications. And I shared with you some of the other success stories. Remember L.A. with her bridal book and the New York Times, Tamir and Al Jazeera, Pam, the financial planner, was quoted in the Wall Street Journal. Those all stem from successful responses to Harrow queries. Now, the next five modules are all about pitching the media. I will share with you the difference between the press release and the targeted story pitch and when to use which one how to pitch magazines, newspapers, and trade publications, and find where your customers are. I'll show you exactly how to find the media so you are pitching the right person at a media outlet. And we'll go into the science of when to submit to the media because that's a crucial component of pitching the media. And lastly, I will show you how to hand this off and outsource your PR to someone in your office or a virtual assistant. Now, the last five modules are designed to make you a thought leader in your industry. This is a key component because thought leadership equals expertise equals credibility, which means you get to charge more for your services. I touch on all the social media platforms and how to use those to increase your PR. I also update this module regularly since social media changes all the time, so you'll always be on the pulse of social media and how to use it effectively to get more exposure. We talked earlier about celebrity endorsements, what it can do for your product, service, or brand. And in the celebrity sales module, I tell you how you can connect with celebrities. In the radio module, I share with you how to get yourself booked on radio shows and how to be a good guest so you get asked back again and again. And similarly, in the getting on television module, I share with you how to get a television appearance and how to start locally and move your way up to a national show if that's your ultimate goal. And last but not least, I tell you about what your television appearance experience will be like. So you're not worried about the details when you get there. And I share with you how to be a great guest, how to speak in sound bites, how to do everything right so they ask you back. 
And finally, I show you exactly what to do with that television appearance so you can generate more business. So you get all 15 modules plus all the bonuses I mentioned above. And the best part of all is that I don't want to waste your time. So I made the modules short. So they total less than three and a half hours total. That's 30 minutes a day. I could give you 30 hours of fluff that you may or may not even ever watch and you'd probably never get through the whole thing and you'll never go back because it's too long. So I chose to give you just a little over three hours with modules averaging 10 minutes. They are full of great content. So you can keep coming back to it over and over and learn what you need when you need it. So you can become a PR expert without having to reinvent the wheel or waste a ton of time. Do you want to know how fast learning these essentials can work? Meet Saber Brown, who is a milliner. She took my system, implemented it, and emailed me three days later to tell me she had secured three articles in three regional publications about her hat business. Here's just one of the articles. So imagine this. She's a local business and secured three local articles in magazines geared towards women about her hat business generating buzz for her business and bringing her new customers. That is money in the bank. So you've seen all the success stories. These are regular business owners just like us who've gotten themselves on television, in magazines, newspapers, on the radio, and have used that publicity to get new customers and make more money. Right this minute, you are less than four hours away from being a publicity maven, just like me and Jen and Brian and Cammie and Sabra and Tamir and Dr. Marcy and thousands of other people who have used the essentials in PR University to massively grow their business. You know what I hear all the time? I hear, I don't have time. Are you interested in having similar success like everyone I've mentioned here today? I've already shown you that it takes less than 30 minutes a day. Bottom line, you have the same 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week, and 720 hours in a month as all of us do. And in this time, we've managed to get ourselves on national television, in national publications, in regional and local media outlets, on the radio, and in blogs all leading to over seven figures in sales. Why wouldn't you invest the small amount of time to get more customers and make more money? Everyone knows Sir Richard Branson, right? Billionaire business owner of the Virgin brand. He has been quoted as saying, publicity is absolutely critical. A good PR story is infinitely more effective than a full page ad. That is because of the third party trust, the earned media. You didn't pay for spreading your message. Someone else is spreading it for you. It gives you credibility. When someone else, like a journalist or a television reporter, is using you as the expert or interviewing you about your product, service, or brand, it gives you credibility. So I really want you to have amazing success. And I told you earlier that I'd give you some awesome bonuses beyond those in PR University. So here you go. Bonus number one, I'm giving you PR to Profit, which is a three module program that goes deep into some of the essentials. It shows you exactly how to make your business newsworthy and includes tools and templates to do this. It shows you how to create great hooks so journalists will read your email and it shows you exactly how to find the right journalists. Look at PR to Profit as your graduate degree. This course alone sells for $9.97, but I'm giving it to you right now as part of PR University. PR to Profit is full of its own extras. They include the non-traditional calendar to help you come up with unique, newsworthy story ideas, 36 winning headlines to use as a plug and play to create amazing media hooks for your business, and lastly, you'll get email strings for over 2,300 media outlets. That means if you want to find just about anyone in the media and you have their first and last name, we have the formula to reach their email inbox. These bonuses are valued at over $200 if you purchase them individually. Bonus number two of PR University is a private Facebook group that I will monitor where you can ask questions about the program, get feedback from other members, and get my assistance as well. 
This group is only for PR University members and will remain a private group. Bonus number three, I'll get you started with over 125 national media contacts from the Today Show to USA Today to magazines like O oh! and Family Circle. It's everything you need to start pitching the national media. It's contact email and phone numbers so you can follow up. If getting publicity got you just one new customer or sold 20 of your product or allowed you to increase your fees by 10% because you're seen as an expert in your industry, would it be worth it? What if that was tenfold? So I have no idea how fast you get return on investment. I have no idea how much a client is worth to you, but how many clients do you need in order for you to get your return on investment in this program? How many customers do you need to get a return on investment? One, three, five? I don't know the answer to that, but you do. How long will that take you? Basically, I will provide you the electricity and all you have to do is flip the switch. I make it so easy for you. All you have to do is commit to flipping the switch and turning the power on. I generated over six figures in sales using publicity with a product that retails from seven to $24. Would making an additional six figures be worth it to you? If you could spend three hours to generate five or six figures in sales, would you do it? Of course you would. You can see why people pay me up to five figures to put these packages together for them. Just one media hit can be worth 10 times that. So PR University would be a great deal at $5,000. That's less than any credible publicist would charge you. And when you're done with PR University, you have the knowledge, the tools, and the resources to regularly get media exposure for your business, just like a publicist would. For the general public, if they were to purchase PR University and PR to Profit separately, it would be over $3,000. But because you're still here, that tells me that you want to learn how to do this. I want you to get started today. So right now, you can get immediate access to PR University for three payments of only $8.97. That's less than any publicist will charge you, and you'll actually get knowledge, tools, contacts, everything you need to be successful getting publicity. Or if you prefer to take care of your investment all at once and save almost $700, the course is $19.97, but if you act right now and go to www.getpresstoday.com and use the pay in full option, enter the coupon code GETPRESSTODAY and you will get the entire PR University for $14.97. This course will show you exactly what publicists are charging people tens of thousands of dollars to do. Now, I have no idea if $1,497 seems like a lot of money to you, but I will tell you this. You've probably made 10, maybe even 20 times more mistakes in your lifetime going in the wrong direction, attempting to get new customers with well-intentioned partners or teachers or trainers or agencies. True or false? I know it's true for me. That's why I created this system. I've shown you tons of examples, but you might still be asking yourself, do these strategies work? Well, of course they work. They work for me and they've worked for thousands of others. Most importantly, this is not a marketing course. This is a course on how to utilize PR, which has more impact than sales and advertising and marketing because people know they're getting sold. Whereas publicity is editorial content, so it has more impact. It's a multiplier. So I don't know if this seems like a lot of money, but I do know that if you made it one of your top 10 priorities over the next 90 days, you'd be writing me back and telling me, wow, that's all you'd be saying is wow. And I've gotten those emails. Here's one I recently got. Just had a reporter reach out to me and request an interview because of the relationship we built when she interviewed me for PMQ Pizza Monthly. Thought it was cool. Well, is it that big of an investment anymore so that you don't lose any more money? You basically have two choices. The first option is do nothing. Stay where you are today. 
but you've listened this far, so you're obviously intrigued at what publicity can do for your business, and you must see the value because you're still here. Your second option is to make this small investment today compared to all the value you'll get in return and just give it a shot. If it works, great. If not, just ask for your money back and you'll get it. I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. Sign up today if you don't like it for any reason, and I don't care if it's 29 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes from now. Just let me know and I'll give you your money back. Is it worth spending a few minutes of your time to check it out? Which if it does even half of what I've shared with you today on this training, it'll pay for itself. A publicist can do this for you at a much higher price, and when you stop paying them, you have nothing. No resources, no media contacts, you have nothing. But with Perry University, you learn everything they do, and you get to keep it all. All the tools, all the templates, all the resources, media contacts, and most importantly, the knowledge. What would getting publicity do for your business? So would you hire this gentleman as a financial planner? Probably not. He looks a little messy, not too professional, a little disheveled. Does this change your perception of him? Would you hire this gentleman as a financial planner? Yes, because the media logos instantly give him credibility. If he's been on CNN and CBS and Fox News, he must know what he's talking about, right? Just imagine what media logos could do for your business. Do you have three hours to get media logos like this on your website to give you exposure, to get you in front of more customers, and to allow you to charge more because you've been in the media? Of course you do. Bottom line, having this knowledge will make you more money. So go to www.getpresstoday.com and let's get started. There are no additional upsells or add-ons because you are getting the very best I have to offer. And the best part about this course is that I created it and I'm not a publicist. I have no formal training in PR or communications, but I've had insane success and I've shared what I'm doing with thousands of people who are also having insane success. I'm just a small business owner like you who figured out what worked and now I want to save you years of trial and error and rush you to the front of the class so you can watch, implement, and have immediate success. This really is a no-brainer for any business. Who doesn't need an easy way to get new customers? Bill Gates said it best. If I had one dollar left, I would spend it on PR. So invest in the future of your business and sign up for PR University today. It's only $14.97 and there is a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee. Can you afford not to see what getting publicity can do for your business? So let's get started and do this together. Go to www.getpresstoday.com and register today. And don't forget your coupon code, Get Press Today. So I'd like to go over the most frequently asked questions because there are probably a lot of you having the same questions. So the biggest one that I get is, does this work for both product and service-based businesses? And the answer is yes. Getting publicity is all about getting exposure for your business. If you are a product-based business, you're gonna use modules in PR University that will help you get your product seen by more customers. If you are a service-based business, often you are seeking to establish credibility using the media, so you are learning how to position yourself as an expert. Various modules in PR University will help with any type of businesses seeking exposure. I showed you how it worked for Sabra, who has a hat business, to Brian, who is a hypnotist, to Cammie, who is a doctor, establishing her credibility and charging higher fees because she is often a featured expert in national magazines. Second big question is, I'm just starting out, so is it too early? No, being new is absolutely positively the best time to get started trying to get publicity, and it's also the easiest. The media loves new, new products, new services, new apps, new tech. And remember, I showed you how to recreate new, so don't worry if you're not new, you can always change something to make your product, service, or brand new again. Question three. I live in Canada or Australia or Europe or Ireland. Will this work for me there? Yes. 
The tools that are available in PR University are universal tools to make yourself stand out, become an expert, and get exposure for your product, service, or brand. And if you do live in any of those areas outside of the U.S., just shoot me an email and I'll share with you some tools I found from my one-on-one -on -one clients in those countries that might be helpful for you too. My goal is for you to be successful and anyone who has ever worked with me knows that I will do everything I can to help my students have success. Question number four, what if I have questions? How much access do I get to you and your team? The answer is that I want you to have success with PR University. You might have some questions along the way, but I prefer that you ask the questions in the Facebook group so that it benefits everyone. It's very likely that a question you have, someone else will have too, and this way we can help everyone by answering in the group. If for some reason you don't get what you're looking for there, you can always email our support email and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Another question, can my team get access to the training or do I need to buy multiple, license for that, for multiple licenses for them? The answer is yes. We have it set up so that your IP address is logged, but you and your assistant can access the program. I know it's easier to hand this off and that's why we did it this way. And is there a guarantee? Yes, of course there is. There's absolutely a guarantee. There's a 100% money back guarantee. You get a full 30 days to review, which is more than enough time to go through all aspects of the program, get access to everything, all the bonus modules, everything, and see with your own eyes that it works. Remember, the entire PR Essentials program is only three and a half hours long, and you probably won't use all 15 to start, so in 30 days, you can pick one or two modules, implement, and see results. It's really that easy. Watch implement and see results. So go to www.getpresstoday.com and enroll in PR University. Thanks so much. I'm Christina Daves and I'll see you on the inside.